so guys i have sewn this um raptor for a very long time now for quite a long time though and i have been so so confused on the kind of sleeve that would suit it that would you know go way better with it so i just had to leave it there so some days ago i was surfing the internet and i came across this beautiful classy puff sleeve and i was like Whoa, i have on the sleeve for my wrap top so i decided to you know show you guys how i um drafted and sew it in and also don't forget to hit the subscribe button and be a part of this amazing beautiful astounding <laughs> and excellent family and also please like and share <laughs> so let's dive right into the tutorial um right away mm, guys let me give you a quick short gist so i actually wanted a puff long sleeve um one that is actually longer than the length in the picture but then i forgot that the fabric i had left would not be enough for that kind of length for a longer length so at the end of this video i had to go with you know the actual length on the picture so to draft out your sleeve um um we have to measure out your ham o on the sleeve you have to measure out the ham o on the sleeve so in doing that you have to measure from the shoulder the shoulder point to the ham o point as you can see from this um shoulder point to the arm o point so as you can see the way i'm placing my tape you measure like so because this measurement will be needed to mark out the sleeve cap so we have nine inches here so we'll go right ahead and mark it out you can actually draft this on your fabric directly but for easier understanding i have to use this white paper yet to here to draft out the um basic sleeve first before we go directly into the you know the puffiness and all of that so in drafting out the sleeve i wanted to go for nine inches then i added one inches to it for um um folding allowance so making it 10 inches so um this 10 inches would have given me a longer sleeve but my fabric said no 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 whitney you can't do that so guys this is me marking it out this was what i thought a hand length i wanted so you cut out your length so i'm going to just cut it out so we'll just know okay the actual this thing we're working out working with rather so i'm just going to cut it out so the length i am for the picture though the length is um for this particular picture the length here is six inches you had one inches for folding allowance that is it the length for this actual picture is six inches you add one inches for folding allowance making it seven inches so the next thing is we're going to you know mark out the sleeve cap so remember from that shoulder to the arm o point we measure that um nine inches right so you're going to add half an inch or one inch let's just say one inch but i'll be adding half an inch because i'm right now i'm trying to manage my fabric you get so for you add one inch to um your sleeve cap so i'm just going to draw a curve from this point as you can see you can come down here by half an inch to be able to know how uh, from where to start drawing your you know your curve your curve your curve <laughs> so guys this is me trying to you know curve so actually i'm using this white um paper for the basic sleeve these are to draft your basic sleeve so when you get to five when you get to five um five inches you curve it down the way i am curving it down there is no two ways about it it's very easy it's just for you it's like you are drawing something you get so this is just it you give it a curve so we have we are almost done with our basic um sleeves here so the next thing you would want to do is um um your remember that this um the top is for the um arm o and all of that um the sleeve cap so 
your round sleeve measurements we're going to make use of it now so for this the round sleeve is 13 inches so 13 divided by 2 gives you 6.5 so i'll be adding one inch um one half an inch to it yeah i'll be adding half an inch to it to give me sorry one inch to it to give me 7.5 inches you get you divide your round sleeve by two then you had one inch to it for sewing allowance you are that's why you're adding one inch to it so you're going to just connect like this from your sleeve cap to the round sleeve you can see where i measured that the round sleeve at the bottom of the sleeve you didn't get so you just do it like that then we're going to trim 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 so please just watch so i was having issue trimming here because i actually use office pin to um, pin the papers together so it'd be enough for me to you know draft out this pattern yeah so guys i'm gonna trim like this you can see i'm already getting that um sleeve basic sleeve shape kind of shape kind of shape 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 <laughs> so you're almost done almost so i think let me pin this back i have to pin this back just have to so let me pin back before i finish my the cutting mm -hmm. so you can see so i just have to make sure it's still the same and here after pinning it back that's okay it's still the same thing the same measurements so yes guys so this is your basic sleeve yes baby we have drafted out the basic sleeve so i'm just trying to cut it so you know it's um it's it follows <laughs> so guys this is it this is it this is your basic sleeve there's no two ways about it so right away next is we are going to draft out that puffiness that cute cute puff puffiness rather so for the puffiness you bring out a new pattern paper there are two ways to go about this actually so one way is to bring out a new pattern paper then you mark out eight inches you can actually if you want a lesser puff at that top you can mark out six inches for a lesser puff um, and pleating but if you want um you know a not too much puff exactly like the picture though you use eight inches but if you want a much more um bigger puff not like it's that big old, but it will just be bigger than the um, um puff in this picture a little bit you use 10 inches so you can see i have i'm using eight inches so i've marked out the eight inches so next you bring out your actual um sleeve pattern and then you make sure that this top is on this line on the um, eight inches line if you're using six inches for the um gap it should be um on the six inches line so we are actually using eight inches which i have marked out so the sleeve cap has to be this higher side has to lie on this eight inches line just the way you're seeing me doing it so next thing is for you to trace it out this is like you're drawing it out you get right now we are creating a new sleeve um pattern so this is for you to you just you know i think this is basically about drawing drawing carving out carving out tracing out and all of that so you just you know trace it out like so so i'm trying to make sure i um um i tend the shock so you will be able to see it once i lift up this actual and so you can actually use your office pin to pin down the pattern um the basic um sleeve pattern on this new um pattern paper so that it will not you know bend and all of that while you're tracing it out so this is just one way to do it yeah so after you've um you trace it out and all of that so i just have to look at the inches so it's just half an inch between here and here you get so you just trace it out make sure it's showing i don't know if it's so you can see the tracing out you can see it so this is one way to actually do it you trace out the actual sleeve then from here you go up you go up like so and create a curve like um so so 
this is another way to do it you look for a small pattern paper if you don't want to waste your pattern papers you look for a small pattern paper then you pin it down with office paper. as you can see i've pinned mine with office paint and you can see the distance between the top of the new pattern paper to where the um other pattern is starting from is eight inches so you can i don't know if you understand this other way also but all of them this one is just to save your pattern paper so right now we're going to create a curve that will come to this new um curve um this place that bends down now and uh -huh, you get what i'm trying to say so please just watch the way i am curving it this thing is just about curving it there is no too much measurement and all of those plenty things so you can see so from this like so please just watch the way i am doing it just watch the way i am doing it please so i'm just at the top you curve you curve so that's just it you can see the way i curved at the top so i'm just going to trim it out now so i'm going to trim out so you'd understand better So I'm just going to trim it out so you would understand better. So guys, this is it. This is it, guys. This is your new sleeve pattern. This is the sleeve, the pattern to get the puffiness in that sleeve. So this is just it. So you can see the way I got the new shape. It's very easy. So the distance from the place, from the top to this place is from the top to this place is eight inches so you can actually use six inches or ten inches depending on how fluffy you want and you can see the way i carved it too so this is our new sleeve pattern first you're going to use this to draft it out on the fabric so as you can see i have drafted it out and as you can see the length as well i have shortened the length of the sleeve <laughs> Because man, my fabric say no, 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 no. <laughs> so as you can see, I've shortened the sleeve length. So, um, the next thing we we'll need to do is um, we're going to, you know, pleat this top. We're going to pleat it. Yes. So once I pleat it, I will show you guys. And also, you aim the bottom of the sleeve. You also aim it you get then you pleat the top here so that's what we're going to do um next so guys this is it i have pleated the top you can see the way the pleating goes yes guys um i have pleated the top you can see the puffiness yeah i've pleated it like so like so like so and then you can see the bottom i have aimed it as well so the actual length now is now that seven inches yes that is six inches with a one inches for folding allowance making it seven inches you get so that's not the um, actual length i do you know i'm managing fabric now so i just have to now forget about the uh, hem long length that i wanted before and just you know go for the actual length on the picture so guys this is it this is it so for the pleating um you click to the side then from the middle you also click to this other side that's just it from the middle you click to the right side then from that same middle you click to the other side so then you close it up let me turn it back so you'd see i'm on the way i manage this fabric here <laughs> so guys <laughs> let's go back to the main topic so you can see the way i close the top at the side here yeah? And you can see the aiming at the down. So this is the hemming. I've aimed it and this is the way I close it up. I so while closing it up, I used the actual measurement. So which was um the round sleeve is 6.5, that is 13 divided by 2. Then I just added half an inch, making it seven. So from seven, I started covering it to you know the ham o um point. So guys, this is it. So the next step is to sew this um sleeve into the wrap top you get to attach 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 the sleeve to the wrap top to the blouse is it blouse to the top sorry to the top so in doing that i have to you know 
cut out the excesses um, because I actually use the door face. So I had to just cut out this excess from the arm O. Yes, on the wrap top. So you can see I'm just trying to maintain, you know, a neat uh, um, surrounding for me to sew. So this is it, guys. So this is the back of the wrap top. So what we'll do now is you bring out the front of your sleeve. As you can see, you bring out the front of your sleeve and make sure that the front fabric of the sleeve is facing the front fabric of the top or blouse whichever you are attaching the sleeve to the front should be facing the front you get and uh -huh, the front and you pass it through the way i just did from the inside and then you're going to you know um sew it like coming you're going to sew it like so round you get you're going to sew it round like so that's how you attach your sleeve you're going to sew it round like that so that's just it the front should be facing the front and when you bring it out you can see the back back came out from the back uh -huh. <laughs> so guys and also um um make sure that um how would i put it the arm o point of the sleeve is lying on the arm o point of the blouse and same thing the shoulder points of the sleeve should be lying on the shoulder points of the uh -huh glass or top so guys this is it after sewing it you can see how beautiful it came out and how this puff sleeve gave the wrap top a classy beautiful elegant kind of look so guys you can actually attach the sleeve to any top of your choice be it a peplon a blouse um, a normal blouse or a wrap top Whatever it is, a crop top, whichever, is going to give it a classy look you get. So, if you've watched to the extent of this video and you're yet to hit the subscribe button, like, guy, what are you waiting for? <laughs> hit that subscribe button. <laughs> so, guys, see you on my next video. Love ya. Bye.